to reduce the symptoms of autism, you got to understand what's causing it in the first place. So number one, what's causing autism is your own immune system. These are the mast cells. So when your immune system produces these inflammatory chemicals, it aggravates the symptoms of autism. So why would it produce these inflammatory chemicals? It's because usually it's because of something that we are eating, something we are inhaling, or something that we're experiencing. So for example, foods that irritate kids with autism, dairy, eggs, nuts, seeds, meat, you know, uh, eggs, etc. The foods that have the most complex protein structures are the ones that cause the biggest issues in kids that have autism. If you want to be able to reduce symptoms, you have to go ahead and consume the foods that are the simplest in protein structures like vegetables, fruits, uh, potatoes, rice, beans, etc. This is what you have to do, number one. That will keep the immune system calm. Then there'll be plenty of fiber to feed the good bacteria. The good bacteria will produce these short chain fatty acids which will calm down the immune system, calm down the neurological inflammation, and that's what causes the autism symptoms. So number one, you wanna to transition to a low protein, high fiber diet that's primarily based on plants. The kid will not die, they will survive, it'll be okay. I've seen this help in multiple cases uh, with kids that had autism that were hitting the walls, that were uh, aggressive behavior that got significantly better once we got rid of the animal products and the uh, more complex proteins, all right? So number two thing you wanna do is you wanna Test your house, make sure there are no mycotoxins, things like trichothecenes, even if there's small amounts of them. People who have autism can be extremely sensitive to mycotoxins, and this could be causing the, all the immune uh, craziness, the mast cells going crazy, which is driving the inflammation. So you have to figure out why the mast cells are going crazy to be able to understand what to do about autism. And usually it is what you're consuming or inhaling. And I'll talk more about this in future videos, but you really gotta consider food sensitivities and mold mycotoxins as two of the most significant underlying causes of autism that nobody's talking about, that if you make changes there, you can see significant reduction in symptoms. And uh, I've seen this with my daughter who had uh, significant health issues, I'll discuss in another video, and with uh, several clients as well. So for more information, follow my page.